Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rahul Raja's Question Q. Today, we will discuss about the Rector Seat. Rector Seat is very important from point of view of university examination as well as clinically. So please continue to watch my video as last and never skip this video. If you are new at my YouTube channel, then please subscribe, like and share my YouTube channel. Let's start this video without skipping the time. Rector Seat is an aponeurotic seat covering the rectus abdominis muscle. Firstly, we will discuss about the anterior wall of the rectus seat. As you can see in the figure, this is the anterior wall of the rectus seat. It is a complete covering the muscle from end to end and it is firmly arranged to the tannous intersection of the rectus muscle. As you can see in the figure, this is the tannous intersection of uh, rectus abdominis muscle through which the rectus seat is firmly arranged. Adrenaline. Now we will discuss about the posterior wall of the rectus seat. As you can see in the figure, this is the posterior wall of the rectus seat. It is a complete and being the deficient above the costal margin and below the arcuate line and uh, it is a free from the rectus seat. Now we will discuss about the formation of the rectus seat. Firstly, we will discuss about the formation of rectus seat above the costal margin. Enter wall of the Rectus seat above the costal margin is formed by the external oblique aponeurosis. As you can see in the figure, this is an external oblique aponeurosis. And the posterior wall above the costal margin formed, uh, is deficient and the rectus muscle is rest directly on the 5th, 6th and 7th costal cartilage. As you can see in the figure, this is a 5th, 6th and 7th costal cartilage. Anterior wall of the rectus seat between the costal margin and arcuate line is formed by the external oblique aponeurosis and the anterior lamina of uh, the aponeurosis of internal oblique muscle as you can see in the figure and the posterior wall between the costal margin and the arcuate line of the rectus seat is formed by the posterior lamina of aponeurosis of internal oblique muscle and uh, the aponeurosis of transverse abdominis muscle as you can see in the figure and this is an external oblique muscle and internal oblique muscle and transverse abdominis muscle and now we will discuss about the formation of rectus seat below the arcuate line anterior wall of the rectus seat below the arcuate line is formed by the aponeurosis of all three flat muscle that is the external oblique muscle internal oblique muscle and uh, transverse abdominis muscle and uh, the as you can see in the figure that the aponeurosis of transverse abdominis muscle and internal oblique muscle are fused but the external oblique aponeurosis remains separated well the posterior wall of rectus seat below the arcuate line is deficient and uh, the rectus muscle rests on the fascia transversalis as you can see in the figure this is a fascia transversalis muscle and now we will discuss about the content of rectus seat. Firstly, we will discuss about the muscular content of rectus seat. As you can see in the figure, that the rectus abdominis muscle and the pyramidalis muscle is present within the rectus seat. And now we will discuss about the arterial content of the rectus seat. As you can see in the figure, the Arterial content of the rectus seat is a superior superior epigastric artery and uh, inferior epigastric artery. And now we will discuss about the venous content of the rectus seat. Rectus seat contains superior epigastric vena committent and inferior epigastric vena committent and nerve. In case of nerve, the rectus seat contains lower 5 intercostal nerve as you can see in the figure lower 5 intercostal nerve and uh, a subcostal nerve now we will discuss about the function of rectus seat main function of rectus seat to check the rectus muscle during the contraction and thus increase the efficiency of muscle and it also maintain the strength of anterior abdominal wall this is all about the rectus seat i hope that this video will be informative and knowledgeable for you please subscribe like and share my youtube channel for supporting me and thank you for watching my video at last